buddy. Just a little seaside marine meandering here in Qualicum. I do have a little food for thought. Um, over this so-called election or selection cycle, um, I've noticed that, well, we've been given a demonstration, or those of us that wish to observe it, of the complex and yet tragically predictable conflict of human ideological orientation, confined as people are to however competitive or however sophisticated ideologies that are beset, one and all, with corruptions to our entire frame of reference as a species in terms of what we give, what is taken, and what we get in return, what threatens us and what doesn't. What doesn't. Uh, to say nothing of how susceptible we are, not only to being threatened, but being threatening to others um, for good reasons and for bad ones. Um, so the left and right in the United States went at each other's throats. Come on, bud. Buddy, come on. Let's go. Um, they went at each other's throats, and... Uh, while both sides have a lot of good reason to criticize the other and to feel threatened by the other, there is that fact that while the left side has gotten a predictably authoritarian and people on the so-called conservative end have had occasion to make a living really criticizing them, they do their audience themselves and everyone else a disservice because I think it is um, a spurious thing to say that people are merely threatened by one side of a very contrived so-called political spectrum. Because you take the stance that you do, not just because you feel credibly and incredibly threatened by the minds of other people who are also looking to secure their safety, in a sort of an astronomical universe that has been really concocted for them in exchange for allowing them to think that they have some stake in it. And this is done at godlike levels, which I'll get into uh, momentarily, is that you're not just threatened by the other end of the spectrum for reasons that become quite obvious depending on what side of the spectrum you're at. And every cult has always been pretty good at criticizing every other cult. But you're threatened by the entire species. And to lose that frame of reference, to to see the deeper issue of human pathology, whichever ideological spectrum it finds itself on, I think is to, is to really play into the very hands of your captors, essentially. Um, what is God? Uh, God is the place where our thought goes and from whence our thought comes and is born to die. doesn't have to be, but... Everyone has a God. And you know, you have in the States this sort of atheism versus religious people as kind of a political uh, adjunct to the political spectrum. Um, everyone has a God. Take appropriate consideration for the birth, nature, and range of your thought and whether it makes adequate distinctions between what is necessarily false and what is necessarily true. And the fact that just because something's not necessarily true doesn't make it necessarily false. And just because something is not necessarily false doesn't make it necessarily true. There is a, a great fertile range of the so-called objective and the subjective or revelation or co personal conviction. But one or the other really doesn't give anything the power to arbitrate for all anyone should know or can even come to know. Thanks for listening.